Dear Ortho friends, today I would like to share some basic knowledge about one of the most versatile tools we have in clinical orthodontics. Who? I'm talking about the rectangular loop. With this amazing tool, we can apply any combination of forces and moments, or even isolated forces and moments. The ideal wire for this loop is a rectangular TMEA wire, 17 by 25. And I recommend the bird beak plier for making the loop and the bands. First, it's very important to understand the basic terminology associated with the rectangular loop. We need to name the parts and the angles of the loop. The parts can be divided into segment A, and segment B. Segment B is the last flexible part of the loop, usually inserted into the anchorage unit. Segment A is the more flexible part, typically inserted into the active unit. This segment is also referred to as the active segment. When we need to perform first order movements, the ones related to the occlusal perspective, the bands will be made on segment A and segment B inward or outwards in relation to the dental arch depending on the specific movement you want to perform. It's also very important to memorize the angles of the loops. These are crucial points because these are the spots where opening or closing bands are made in order to perform the second order movements the ones related to the sagittal perspective. For example, intrusion, extrusion, and intrusion and extrusion in combination with different rotations. Here's a tip to memorize the angles. Start with angle number one. It's the first angle after segment A. And the angles progress sequentially towards segment B. Note that angles one, two, and three are inside the rectangle of the loop, while angle 4 is outside. With this basic knowledge, you are well on your way to start applying the rectangular loop in your clinical practice. Please feel free to make any comments or questions. And stay tuned for more demonstrations in the next videos.